We found a couple of issues with uh, extracting uh, involving back pressure on our pumps. Um, the first thing that we did was to try to relieve the back pressure by um, adding dry ice to the system. Ice in general went through a lot of ice. To try and insulate that ice from melting, we've um, sandwiched um, insulation between two containers and so uh, we're actually containing um, our storage tank inside the center container, thus insulating um, uh, from excess meltage. Additionally, we still had a significant amount of, of pre back pressure, particularly when summer rolled around. 100, 125 pounds of back pressure, it slowed things down dramatically. Um, you know, because you're bringing that um, gas from um, from your storage or from your st pump into your storage tank and it's hot coming out of that pump and that air uh, that um, gas needs to be cooled off in order to condense it into liquid and we're having a bit of a difficult time doing that so what we decided to do was to take a, a stick of quarter inch tubing coil it around a, um, a, a co2 cylinder bend it and put some compression fittings and flares on the end and then stick this down at the bottom of the container with the dry ice and put your storage tank on top of it. And now instead of bringing the um, gas directly into your gas line, you first bring it into your heat exchanger where it passes through the coil with the dry ice, cools off comes out here and this is where you pump it back into your um, to your uh, gaseous valve here. Um, the only issue with um, working with this tubing is that you got to have the right tools to bend it. I mean it seems really simple and I just went through three coils of 3 8 inch tubing where I erroneously tweaked the tubing um, and it runs you twenty, thirty dollars or more a stick, um, so you do have to get the right tools so that you don't wreck your tubing. But other than that, it's really, really a simple fix and one that I encourage everyone to use. It uh, reduced our back pre pressure from 100 to 125 down to um, about 50 pounds, so it sped our extraction time up dramatically. So I encourage everyone, if you've got the tools to and uh, skills to go ahead and bend your own or if you don't and um, don't want to go to the trouble and pain of doing it all um, you can get a hold of a specialized formulations and we'll get one shipped to you right away.